Hola, senoritas. It is I, Claytano. Uh, what's up, guys? So this is part two of the Trial of Ascension video series. And on my last video, I failed on level 40. Yeah, it's pretty fucking embarrassing. Um, but let me show you guys why I failed. So Artemile, this guy, the poster child of Summoner's War, is the boss. And he basically, well, he does actually have a passive that says he counterattacks when your ally is attacked with a critical hit and increases the attack gauge by 15%. This guy right here, 100% crit. This one right here, 80% crit. Yeah, I'm getting fucked up. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch through my team around. Um, I'm gonna go with Vermus. Um, I don't know why. I just think he's cool. Um, okay. Well, I don't know if I'm gonna keep bird. I'm gonna get rid of bird. I'm gonna go with this duty. I'm gonna do my Zeros. I'm gonna go with him. Cause just in case, you know, hopefully I'll get a shot where I boom. I won't be able to heal himself. Um, and my last one, my last, uh, I think I'm going to go with Tessarian. Yeah. So I think this is going to be my team. So let's see how this plays out. The lag begins. Now, if this team fails, this is this is gonna be pretty embarrassing. Pretty embarrassing. Pretty standard. Pretty pretty freaking standard. Um, massacre. Oh ho, ho, fuck! Did you see how damage? Holy shit! That was like what, 7.5 times 4 30k? Yeah. Wait. 7.29. Yeah, 30k. 30k, man. Shit. That's what Escher can do. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Escher. My main dog. Oh, okay, so fucking monkey. Ah, the monkey. Oh, crap. Okay, so the monkey counterattacks as well. So you just get fucked. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is a pretty hard stage. I can see ours. Yeah, damn. Calm to us. Good on you. Kassarian still hasn't attacked yet. Ooh, we just getting fucked up. Oh! Shit! He's immune! Um. Fuck. He's immune. Uh huh. Uh huh. Huh. Oh, he's not immune to increased defense. I'm not just sorry. Nah. I think we're good, guys. Yep. <sighs> anyway, 100 crystals. So that was a pretty hard stage. I'm not gonna lie. Pretty hard stage. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put him back. So, yeah. This should be pretty easy.
going through the rest of the levels for now. Uh -huh. Now, I do throw Sig back in the mix every now and then. Um, because I like his... Oh, shit. <laughs> I just I just jizz a little every time I see Asher attack with defense break. Oh, I don't know why he didn't use his fucking skill. Um, anyway, so I think I'm gonna record on 4G from now on because seems like it's going a little bit smoother. Um, so fuck my data plan, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, fuck my data plan, because it's doing good. I mean, it lags out every once in a while, but it's not as bad as it was on the last video, so. And, you know, live and learn. Just learning every day. Every day is a learning process. Just learning. Um, Alright, so let's go ahead and get right back into the, um, the story of how I met my girlfriend. Um, and that's what this whole video series is going to entail, along with some Summoner's War shit. You know, I guess if I have to throw it in there, I will. But, so I don't know if, I don't know how many of you tuned in to hear the um, exciting end to my story here, um, but the story is never ending. The story is ongoing. My girlfriend's actually in the shower right now. Um, she said that she will knock and she's about to come out, so that way I can pause the video, she can walk around and get in bed. Um, but yeah, so with that, guys, I do want to let you know, when I hit 500 subscribers, she will be making an appearance on my videos. So, if you want to see my girlfriend, I've showed a picture of her and a few other videos, make sure you subscribe. Lady um, it is kind of weird talking to myself, but I know who you are. I know you know who you are. And I know you know. I know who you are. And I know you want to subscribe. So just, just do it so that way everybody can see my girlfriend. Uh, but anyway, so we're at stage 42 right now. Um, going back to the text messages, so she said her name was Sailor Ashton. I didn't know who Sailor Ashton was. She said maybe we met at a party or something. Um, so I was like, well, hey, fuck it. I mean, I would have remembered you. No, you would have remembered me. That's what I said to her. I said you would have remembered me if we hooked up at a party. I was very cocky back then. You know, not anymore, right? Not cocky anymore. People who know me in Channel 122, definitely, definitely not, not cocky at all, by any means. Um, give me one minute here. Yes. Yeah, so by any means, not cocky, right? Mm. So anyway, though, Sailor Ashton, and I was like, you gotta be fucking kidding me, like, I don't know Sailor Ashton, you start fucking joking with me, here. and finally, after some dirty text messages back and forth, she admits that her name is not Sailor Ashton, and she admits her full name, which I will not say, so that way you guys don't creep on her. Um, but she admits her full name, and I'm like, Oh, it's you. But I still didn't remember her. And in case you didn't hear me whisper, I said I still didn't remember who she was. 
Um, so I looked her up on Facebook, and I still didn't remember her. Could not for the life of me figure out why I couldn't remember. Because I only had messaged her one time, and that was it. And she had a boyfriend. And, I mean, I didn't really, I really talk to her. So, I was like, hey, um, you know, I don't know you, but you're pretty fucking awesome to come up with that story um, of Sailor Ashton. So, pretty much from then on out, I was love. Like, I knew, like, I, I felt something for this chick. For her to come up with that whole story just to, you know, just to fuck with me. Basically, she she apparently knew exactly who I was. She didn't have me say, okay. <clears throat> so, hold on. Back it up. So, you guys know what happened there. Sailor Ashton was her. Okay. Now, this is her end of what happened. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, she, okay, remember in the last video, I went over how um, she said to me on Facebook, I'm fighting with my boyfriend, just text me, put in her number, and I texted her, and she didn't reply. Okay, <coughs> so get this, excuse me again, get this. When she said that, she was fighting with her boyfriend. By the time I texted her back, she was having sexual intercourse with her boyfriend. Getting fucked um, by her boyfriend at the time. Um, yeah, I don't really like saying it. It was kind of uncomfortable saying it. But she was. It happens, you know. I had sex with girls before I met her. So it is what it is. I had sex with girls after I messaged her on that. Uh, whatever it was. And she didn't reply. Like a stuck up bitch, you know. Um, but this is why she didn't reply. So she was having sex with her boyfriend. I called in. And... She basically said that when I texted her, it lit up and her boyfriend saw it while they were having sex and said, who is that? And it was... They got in a huge fight over it, because I definitely would. I don't know why, but if someone texted her... While we were having sex, just in general, at all. I didn't know. I'd be like, what the fuck? So I guess they got in a huge fight. She showed him who I was on Facebook. What happened? Basically just admitted the entire thing. Um, that she had sent me her number. And um, he was about to leave her. And that's why she didn't reply to me. So I was like, okay, fair enough. Um, so a year goes by when I replied to her, or when I texted her again, she uh, faked as Sailor Ashton. Um, she was riding up the escalator in a mall, and it said, or when I texted her, it said my area code, which is kind of a unique area code because it's not from around here. Um, so she had my number blocked. She had my Facebook blocked. She had my calls blocked, my texting blocked, everything blocked um, because of her boyfriend and what.
what happened that night when I um, when I messaged them when they're having sex. So I don't know what happened, but it must have been fate that my message went through, and she said she knew exactly who it was because apparently she saw my picture which happens to be my YouTube picture right now um, down there um, and she said she thought I was the hottest guy she had ever seen and that I was her type and her old boyfriend she knew was not her type um, and she basically just wanted to be with me the entire time and was still with her boyfriend though when I texted her a year later um, so anyway she was at work she was going up the escalator at work my message rings in and has my area code and my full phone number obviously because it doesn't have my my name saved in her phone anymore um, so immediately she replies back and that's when the Sailor Ashton conversation went um, she was so excited that her boyfriend though was actually out of town um, at the time and he was going to be gone for a few months um, quite a few months. I think probably after, after from the time that I texted her. So she was excited that she was able to talk to me, get to know me. Um, over the course of the, the year, though, that I didn't know her, apparently things were going on between her and him where... You know, you know they, they were a little rocky. Obviously, if she wasn't, if she was completely happy, she wouldn't have messaged me on Facebook saying that they're fighting and um, to text her. You know, if everything was good, she wouldn't have, she wouldn't have done that. If she thought that she, he was the one that she was going to marry, um, she wouldn't have done that. So after that. Um, Again, her boyfriend's out of town for the next couple of months. She really wanted to get to know me. Now, I wasn't pushing it. I was like, wow, you still have a boyfriend. So I'm going to respect the boundaries there. I'm not going to... Um, wow. Well, uh, anyway, I'm not going to, you know, push it. You know, you, if you want to, if you want to do this, then let's do it, but I'm not going to make you cheat on your boyfriend. I'm not someone who cheats themselves. I'm not someone who likes being uh, likes being cheated on. Cheated on, obviously. Uh, so I'm saying to myself, well, you know, if you want to be with me, go be with me. If not, cool, no problem. Uh, so I push it. I just. You know, talk to her like she was one of my friends. You know, there, are, there was obviously some sort of emotional connection there, but I just played it cool and acted like you know, it is what it is, and um, didn't really, didn't really like try. You no know, way to try to force anything, I guess, would be a, a better way to phrase it. I just did what I would always do, which is talk to her. Um, apparently, she really liked it. And so at this point, we had never hung out. We hadn't seen each other in person. We didn't know what each other looked like. We didn't know if we were both real. We didn't know if this was one of those catfish scenarios. 
um, which I'm sure you've all seen. And wow, look at Escher just fucking rip through everybody with violent runes. Fucking badass. Um, but anyway, uh, we didn't see each other. We didn't know if we were both real. We didn't know, you know what was going on. So, I said, let's, let's Skype. If we Skype, I think that would be the best way to kind of ease into it. So that way we both know that both of us are real and we don't have to worry about anything. Um, we Skyped. She was who she said she was. I was who I said I was. And uh, we kind of just went from there. Uh, so after we Skyped, it was more or less just debating whether or not we wanted to see each other as friends or if she was going to break it off with her boyfriend. Um, and again, I didn't, I didn't force anything. I said, it's completely up to you. Um, do what you want. And many times, many times, she would text me and say, hey, I don't know what I'm doing. I shouldn't be talking to you. I've been in a relationship with my boyfriend for um, a long time, and I'm not going to throw it away for someone who's really just passing through the town. Because um, I wasn't staying there. I was planning on going to college, playing college hockey, uh, which I did. And I'll get to that part of the story later on. It's probably going to be more around... Uh, Probably around floor 80, um, but I was I was just playing there for the season. I wasn't planning on staying. She knew that. I told her, you know, I told her that as well. I said, you know, if if you if you love your boyfriend, then stay with him because right now, the way my life is, I've lived in a new place every year since the time I was 16. Um, so, basically she just, she knew, she knew the whole story, she knew what was going on, she knew what she was getting herself into. Um, but, once, wow, what the fuck, look at that little tiny, Oh my god, he's so little. What the fuck? Is that how little? Why is he so little? Are you guys seeing how little? Is that his normal size or is that fucking little? I think that's... I think he's fucking little. I think he's little as fuck. No? Or is that his real size? Does he just look little to me? Because of... I think... Oh, man. Is it just because he's by the big infernos? Oh, man, that's, that's weird. He just looked really little to me. I don't even know his name, but the dark, uh, the dark dragon, I just looked tiny as fuck. I thought they were bigger. Um, anyway, so, where were we? Oh yeah, so, basically I just gave her room, let her decide, and, oh, so multiple times, multiple times she would say, hey, you know, I love my boyfriend, I've been with him all this time. I'm planning on starting my life with him. I don't want to screw this up for someone that's just passing through the town. Um, and I respected that. I said, you know what, that's perfectly fine. I totally understand where you're coming from. Um, I do really like you. I think you're a great person. 
that's perfectly fine. We still haven't met yet at the time. Uh, so, however, those nights when she would text me saying, you know, I think that's it, I think we're just going to break it off, I don't text mature about this and let's just end it no questions asked like it never happened I said okay great you know it was wonderful meeting you you're a great person your boyfriend's very lucky and you guys have a wonderful life together and I was perfectly serious I wasn't trying to be sarcastic I wasn't trying to be douchey I was just very straightforward you know I didn't I didn't really have an emotional connection at the time, um, a strong emotional, I did have an emotional uh, connection at the time, I did love her. No, no, take that back, I did not love her, um, I, didn't, I didn't mean to say that. So at the time, I did like her a lot as a person, I thought she was a great person, I thought she was someone right off the bat that I connected with, I was able to speak with, she was a very intelligent person as well, and she was fucking hot. Um, so I thought she had the full package, so I said, you know what, your boyfriend's very lucky, and you guys have a great life together. And I put the phone down, didn't hear back from her, and I figured that was it. Went to sleep, woke up the next morning, and there was a text message waiting from her saying, hey, good morning, how are you? And I was like, hey, I'm fine. How are you? But I was very, very pleasantly surprised that she had texted me back um, the next morning because I was fully planning on never talking to her again and just moving to the next one, <laughs> as bad as that sounds, but just moving to the next one and, you know, trying to forget about her. Because at that time, we, again, we hadn't even met in person yet, so. Uh, it was, you know, it was better if we cut it off then, rather than getting too far deep, ruining her relationship with her boyfriend. Um, but she texted me back that next morning, and I was, like, very taken back. But at the same time, I was very pleasantly surprised that she had texted me back. Um, so, and she's actually just getting out of the shower right now, um, but I'm, I'm still going to keep talking. She knows the whole story anyway. Um, so yeah, so next morning, I had the text message from her, again, very pleasantly surprised, and we just kept kept doing that kind of over and over for a couple of weeks where she would say we need to stop this isn't right I love my boyfriend I shouldn't be doing this I shouldn't be talking to someone else um, and she would do that over and over and we ended up just still talking because whatever it was just drew us back to each other and we kept we just kept wanting to talk to each other. So every morning I'd wake up after one of those nights and I would have a text message from her saying, hey, what's up? Good morning. How are you? And it was awesome. I loved it. But again, I didn't force anything. I just, it, it was what it was. And that was pretty much it. So. I mean, okay. so I kind of lost my train of thought there, just reminiscing on the whole situation. But uh, let me talk a little bit about how this uh, level 50 is set up here. So we have the dark pioneer who has the normal first skill, attacks the enemy. Power of Yin Yang and puts the enemy to sleep for two turns with a 15% chance. Um, deals damage according to your max HP, that's a good skill. Any any skill that deals damage according to your max HP is 
pretty opaque, um, like Darian's first go. And then we have tax enemy two times with each attack has a 75% chance to remove beneficial effects uh, and 75% chance to prevent them from receiving beneficial effects for the next two turns. Okay, so this is like Chloe's uh, second skill, but it's an AoE. So that's pretty good. That's actually really good. Um, and then we have oops, Steel's beneficial effect and HP and Cloven to 15% of your max HP from each confronting enemy. I'm not sure what that means exactly. Steals beneficial effect and HP equivalent to 15% of your max HP from each confronting enemy. What the fuck does that mean? Hold on one second. I do not know what this means. Um, Alright, so I'm going to think about that for just a second. And I'll be right back. Alright, so I thought about this skill. And it really makes no fucking sense. So CompTOS needs to fix that description. And if you know exactly what that means, then comment below because I don't fucking know. Um, but anyway, I'm going to stop the video right now because we're at about 31 minutes, 32 minutes. Um, so we'll pick up on the next video from floor 51 and go to floor 60 probably. Um, but yeah, so thanks for watching. Um, and I'll pick up the story for my girlfriend and I on the next video as well. So stay tuned for that. All right, guys. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. Bye.